no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is the moment of clarity week in review where I discuss all the week's news stories that are easy to make fun of. The George Zimmerman Trayvon Martin story is still in the news. Zimmerman apparently shot the young black man for wearing a hoodie. Isn't that the uniform of young black men? Is it wouldn't you be wouldn't you be more terrified of a young black guy in a zoot suit with a monocle? If you see that, you're praying it's Cedric the Entertainer because otherwise you're about to end up in an involuntary porn film. And Zimmerman apparently shot because the kid pulled out Skittles. Again, what kid isn't eating Skittles. If George Zimmerman had shot at Trayvon Martin while he was holding, say, foie gras and a rare shark sperm sushi roll, then I would be like, hell yeah, I would have shot that guy too. What the fuck is he up to eating sushi at this time of night? The most interesting part of the story, however, has been the media coverage because they don't know what the fuck to do with it. They don't know how to cover it because it's a young black guy getting killed by a giant white guy who looks Latino but has a super white first name and a Jewish last name. If he were straight up Jewish and his name were Jaime Zimmerman, then it would be easy. The media would ignore the story because the Jews have taken enough shit already, right? If he's Latino, then it would be covered even more because it would be a, a great fuck these immigrants story. If only his name were Jorge Sandinista or Che Guatemala, then we could hate him. If his name, however, were George Johnson and he had on a get her done hat and a I got my crabs from Dick's Crab Shack t-shirt, then we could all yell, fucking racist. But no, this asshole had to ruin everything by being a giant Mexican Jew with a white first name. And on a sad note, a man who was in the news four years ago for being the first man to ever give birth to a child, and he did it two more times, is now getting divorced from his wife. On a positive note, telling the kids why mommy isn't around anymore will be the easy thing to explain. In the most important news story of never, the movie Battleship is being pushed harder than a Frank Caliendo bowel movement. This is a movie based on a fucking board game. America, you have a decision to make. If you make this movie a success, then Hollywood is going to come out with all other sorts of movies based after fucking Pictionary and Twister, Silly Putty and Nose Picking. Do you really want to live in that world? And in Hollywood's continuing efforts to save money, apparently they've replaced all screenwriters with a group of bewildered porpoises. But the results aren't half bad. You got Battleship, you got uh, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 4, that whale movie Drew Barrymore failed to say no to, Porpoises on a Plane, that one went straight to DVD. And finally, Walmart is in trouble in Mexico for paying out humongous bribes. Hold on. Hold on, Walmart did something unethical? This is bullshit. I'm taking back my ten for a dollar pack of jelly sandals and my three dollar copy of Nomeo and Juliet right now and demanding an apology. That's been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Follow me on Twitter, at LeeCamp, and check out the new Moment of Clarity book. Thanks. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.